Welcome again to Joe Stun Unboxing. Um, Connor Ben and Peter Dobson had their final press conference and they were interviewed by Eddie Hearn. Hearn was in the middle. They were either side like a fart between two butt cheeks. And um, it predictably, they, they had some word, words for each other. And basically, to sum it all up, Dobson was saying, um, you're a, you know, rich, pretty boy, came up the, the easy way. Your father was a world champ. Um, you're soft, basically. And I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Um, he was saying he's been highly avoided. I think he's about 33 now, Dobson. Only 16 fights, has fought no one. But his claim is... Um, I can't get fights. No one will fight me. And in fact, Eddie Hearn confirmed that Dobson has been uh, offered fights and accepted them in the past, but but uh, opponents have pulled out. So, so he is he is being truthful in that respect. Now, Ben countered by saying, "Look, I don't have to do this. I'm from a." you know, privileged background. He didn't actually say that, but that's what he implied. I don't have to do this. I could do a lot of other things, but I choose to do it. And I live the life and, you know, I stay dedicated. And, you know, I'm going to push aside the whole PED thing because we've done that to death. But I would say he's got a good point because Nigel Benn, multimillionaire, highly successful champion, Connor went down the same the same path boxing. That in itself is quite intimidating because you've got to if you sort of flop, people are going to say call just call you Nigel Ben's son who failed. Uh, whereas taking on the challenge is it does show to me it, it does does show some sort of inner metal, um, some sort of mental fortitude. Um. So I think there's, again, when you listen to two people argue and you're objective and you're sort of neutral, you look at you look at what's or listen to what's being said and then you dig the bones out of it. And the truth is usually somewhere in the middle. You know, both guys have got a good point. Now, I think it will be interesting to see just how good uh, Dobson is because, as I said in my preview video, I could only find bits and pieces to watch. I couldn't find a great deal. And he looked okay, he looked competent, uh, but he didn't look like the great killer he's saying he is. Um, he was. He said to Eddie, I'm one of the best fighters in the world, I'm, you know, I'm basically the world's best kept secret. And Eddie didn't reply, I don't, you know, I didn't see any evidence from what I've seen to suggest that he is this great hidden gem that's going to suddenly explode out of nowhere. That's not to say he can't beat Conor Ben, but I picked Ben... In my preview video, I think Ben is an explosive fighter. He does seem to, he's very fast and his accuracy isn't bad at all. But he does, he does try to put maximum weight on each punch. There's not much variety there. And as I said in my preview video, if you, there are little clips of him hitting the pads. He's a, it can be deceptive. Maybe I'm reading too much into this. But he does. He doesn't seem to vary his work a lot. There's no sort of changing of gears. It's all bang, bang, bang. You know, um, and that can get that can get you to a certain level. And it, for all I know, it might get Dobson out of there. But at some point, he's going to have to have. There's going to going to have to be some sort of nuance, some sort of subtlety, some sort of thought. You know, real. You know, a real plan that's well, not just a plan, but an A B C D plan. You know. Um, something that's varied, something that that um, can counter an opponent who isn't intimidated by all that sort of sharpshooting and heavy-handed, um, speedy combinations. And I think, uh, I don't know whether Dobson's the man to stand up to him, but it's not enough to simply say, I'm going to come straight at you, I'm going to stand in front of you, I'm going to have a row, I'm going to... I'm going to knock you out in one round. And Ben was even, you know, doing what George Groves 
uh, deal against um, Carl Froch, you know, saying, I'm going to floor you with this punch. I might do this. I might do that. You know, remember when, when Groves told Froch he was going to floor him in the first round of their first fight with a right hand? And he did just that. <laughs> um, but I did like the sort of energy of both these guys. And Ben was saying to Dobson, stop shaking. Stop. He's been saying that all along. And Dobson, when he sits there, he does have this habit of sort of rocking his knees, you know, rocking his legs. Like he's almost like he's nervous. He's nervy. I don't think it's because he's scared. I think it's just because he's he's got this little habit. I mean, some people do it, you know, you, you know, we've all got our little sort of quirks, haven't we? You know, where, you know, some people, they sort of grasp their hands a lot or they're, you know, you know, when they're thinking. It doesn't mean they necessarily mean they're nervous. It means they're thinking. It means that they've got some good positive energy and it's almost bursting out of them. So I don't think Dobson's scared. I hope he isn't because I'm quite looking forward to this fight. We don't want one guy sort of rolling over and capitulating early. Um, But from what I've seen of Dobson, and again, I repeat, it's not a great deal. I think Ben probably, the explosiveness of Ben will probably at least contain Dobson. Um, And Dobson probably is looking to take him into the later rounds maybe and drown him. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but Dobson's saying, you know, you ain't face face anyone like me. You know, the people you've beaten are, are better known, but they're not better than me. Um, and he's a Bronx boy, and traditionally they they breed them tough over there. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so have a look at it. You know, yeah. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. What, did you watch this final press conference? If so, what did you think? What sort of vibe did you get? Who did you think um, came across better? Uh, I thought they both came across as being confident. Um, ben talked better, made a bit more noise. At one point, he said, the loudest person in the room is the one that's most scared. Well, <laughs> that was himself <laughs> because Connor Ben, he, he likes a bit of chit-chat, doesn't he? But, uh, but Dobson was giving it back to him. Tell me what you think. Comments below, as always. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the like button as well. And um, I always appreciate you watching these videos and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.